Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make prints like this from one of these. So let's get into it! So first and foremost, you're going to need some texture packs. I'm going to be taping up all of the logos and branding because I hate the diary industry, but this is a completely optional step. <laughs> you're also going to need snippy boys, a craft knife, sharp stabby things, <laughs> some paper, printing ink, and also a printing press. But I get that you might not just have a printing press lying around somewhere in your house, <laughs> so there are other alternatives to using one that I will be discussing later in the video. So the first step is to choose your victim. <coughs> Sorry, the um, Tetra pack that you want to print with. You want to make sure that it's washed out properly so it doesn't start to smell. And while we're at it, I'm going to be washing out some of my other ones too, because the smell of your neighbor's weak old cream isn't exactly pleasant. <coughs> This is not okay. Abort. Abort. Having abandoned that last Tetra pack, I unfolded the flaps on the carton and squished it down like so. I'm going to be cutting off the top, the bottom and one of the sides to just make it into a rectangle of foil back card. And if you come all this way and you open it up and it's not foil on the inside, then you're basically screwed and it's not a Tetra pack, it's an off-brand one and it's not going to work for this DIY. Now is the time that you've all been waiting for, the time when we bring out the sharp objects. I'm going to be using a compass to cut out circles for my design, but really you can do anything you want with these, just as long as you make sure to scratch through to the cardboard. These scratched areas will turn black in the final print as the ink will stay in the creases, whereas the foil will go more grey, and then if you cut out chunks then you will be left with just the white of the paper. I'd also recommend cutting out this little plastic spout thing because I don't especially want to damage my school's printing press. But if you don't want to do this, then you do you, Charlene. I would also strongly advise staying on the abstract side for these types of prints because I can imagine it being very, very hard to draw something from real life using a blunt compass. But <laughs> by all means, go ahead and ignore this walking, talking group of pixels on your screen because you might be pleasantly surprised. Once you finish with your design, the next step is to ink up the Tetra Pak. And yeah, there's almost something kind of oddly sexual about rubbing a piece of cardboard with this intensity for this long. But anyway, I'm not going to go into the details for all our resident channel pervs. Thank you very much. You also want to use a piece of cloth like this. It has a proper name, but it like has gone from my brain to wipe off the ink from these silver parts because you only want the ink to go in places that you've cut. Otherwise it will just be a black smudge on the paper. Now I'm just running the Tetra Pak sandwiched between some paper through the press. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this method. Sketching pictures up and singing songs Wondering what I did before you came along Oh, you're just what I need I was really proud of these prints and if anybody can read Gallifreyan then please do tell me what it says because hopefully I haven't summoned the Supreme Dalek or something like that with my ignorant use of a compass. For all of you noobs who don't happen to have a printing press lying around in your apartment, this next method is for you. Once again, I'm just essentially inking up my Tetra Pak, making sure to wash my hands after I finish so I don't get any grubby fingerprints on my final print. And now, uh, just, just watch and learn. <laughs> I tried sandwiching my prints between two boards and then getting my mum to run it over with a car, but yeah, this didn't really work because there wasn't even pressure on the board and I don't think it was sustained for long enough. So yeah, fail. However, I read online that you could make prints using a spoon to apply pressure and to my surprise, this actually worked. Oh, look at that, Mum. It's worked. Okay, so this is all of the results of my printing. I had a lot of fun doing something that was more low pressure 
and less time consuming, giving me less time to overthink every individual decision. If you guys try this technique, then please do let me know how it goes. And yeah, I've also set up a Patreon. So there's a supporter one, which is like $1. And then I believe there's $3. And then there's a Prince Club level if you wanna buy monthly prints from me. They're all gonna be signed and mailed out with a little message. So if that interests you, then go have a look. The links are in the description. But enough self-promotion. <laughs> like up this video, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Didn't fucking cook, dog. My spoon is too big.